Hi everyone, welcome to Inspire Out Loud. My name is Trini and I haven't seen you for a while. Uh, we've been traveling and relocating overseas, so I have not been in front of a camera for well over a year. So this is the first time back and I have been working on a uh, project for a while around wellness on every level. Uh, been writing a lot about supplements, about nutrition, different ways that we can help our bodies, especially with all of the growing issues around us in our food and air and water and all of the things. And one of the important elements in that that I've been working on for myself has been around the energetic subconscious patternings and beliefs. And one issue came up today that I, I feel like might be helpful and important to share. So today I was working around issues with money, which I've done for a while. Uh, like many purpose-driven people, there can be a sense that, uh, you know, there's a lot of evilness around money issues with, with having it around greed, around the weaponization of it, all of these things that keep us separate from it when really we're the people that need to be in charge of it the most so we can funnel it into life-affirming ways. So a lot of those programs just aren't sticking. And then a word came into my head that said ancestral. And as soon as it did, I felt really quite nauseous and I said okay I need to work with this a little so I created a couple of statements that I use in Psyche um, one of them is I release any ancestral contracts oaths beliefs patterns or binds relating to the weaponization of money and I command this for the highest good and adding that little sentence at the end, we do that in theta healing just to make sure that it's uh, for the greater good, and not for our personal filters. That's an insurance policy. So that's a statement that you might like to utilize or get inspiration from in your meditation, visualization with your own psyche practitioner, shamanic dream work, whatever it is that you use as your tool. And then another statement I created was, I recreate the relationship between our ancestral lineage and money in God's light and love. And you can use those words or something else that resonates with you more deeply. And in Theta Healing, when you recreate the relationship between to people, to entities, organisations, whatever it is, you're literally recreating the entire energy around the relationship or that, that highest good, whether you want to call it in God's light and love, in divine loving light, in line with great spirit, like whatever your word is for that highest entity is entirely up to you. So anyway, I thought that might be helpful. I am going to keep exploring these realms of uh, working with the ancestral lines in order to really hone in on each aspect of our lives that we can heal. So money is obviously a big one at the moment. We, we're in the middle of the Great Reset. I don't quite know what that is rolling out to be it could potentially be not so great and I'm figuring well if we can shift our energy towards money and our relationship towards money and with that affect all of our ancestral lines and their relationships to it then potentially we can have some positive influence in the world which is what more could we ask for right Anyway, just a little quickie from me. I am going to attempt to do a daily video. I'm going to commit to three a week. So I will keep posting these. Uh, please feel free to comment if 
you have any other uh, similar areas of exploration, um, if you've tr if you've tried these and you would like any to leave any feedback, that would be cool. Anyway, hope you're having a great week, Jay. See you next time.